Welcome everyone and a happy Pi Day to you. In all honesty, uh, right, it's actually the night before Pi Day for me. I was a little bit paranoid that I wasn't going to be able to record a video during the actual Pi Day because I have a couple of classes and meetings and all this sort of stuff. And so I thought, okay, it's better to be safe than sorry. And so I'm recording this the night before here uh, in my basement, actually. So um, anyway, before I get to, I guess, the main event in which I'll, I'll go ahead and recite for you some digits of Pi, I'd like to give a couple of shout outs. Uh, and the first being to uh, Piazza. Uh, oh, there, uh, nope, there we go, uh, kind of. There, yes. So Piazza, they sent me a free shirt, which I found out about myself. I'm still at the age where I enjoy to get a free shirt. Uh, in addition, they sent me this little, I don't know, you can't say plaque, maybe certificate or so. It's on just some cardboard a little bit, uh, saying some of my stats about Piazza, right? So it says celebrating three years. Uh, Ryan McCombs, yeah, that's me. Piazza user since 2015, which is a little bit confusing because it's 2019. So you'd think it'd say four years, but okay, somewhere between three and four years, I suppose. Um, number of logins, right? So, okay, it says my stats here. So 6,175 logins. It says total classes on Piazza is 20. The fastest class was Math 299 with an average response of 10 minutes. And finally, the most active class was Math 132 uh, in which the number of contributions was 644. So when I read that, I was like, oh yeah, that's very nice and everything. It's nice that they sent this. Uh, but then I did a little bit of math, right? So the number of logins being 6,175, somewhere between three and four years, right? So it says three years here, but maybe it's closer to four years. So I did, okay, maybe 3.5. And so when you do the math out, 365 days a year, all that sort of stuff, with 6,175 logins, that ends up being pretty darn close to five logins per day. So it's between four and five, and especially when you think about holidays and breaks and the fact that there's summer and all this sort of stuff. I mean, I run summer classes and we use Piazza and all that sort of stuff, but still at, you know, four to five logins per day, I have to, you know, uh, when my wife says I look at my phone too much or I, I, you know, I'm playing with my phone too much, I guess I have to uh, kind of agree with her. A little bit, but I mean, I get the notifications for my phone and I think it's very useful. So to some extent, I mean, yeah, such is life, right? Um, but anyway, so yeah, my first shout out is to Piazza. I really like your service. I, I really like the fact, uh, right, that first of all, students can ask questions anonymously. Uh, and, and the fact that, you know, when I respond to a student's question that all the other students can, you know, benefit from this. They can look at and see the answers of the things that I've posted about this. I like the fact that my TAs can respond and other students can respond. Uh, overall, I think that this is a great free product and I'm really happy with it. So thank you very much, uh, Piazza is my first shout out. My second shout out, uh, kind of more related to the Pi Day stuff is going to be to Vi Hart. Uh, by heart, uh, you know, she has some great YouTube videos. She's a huge YouTube personality dealing with mathematics. Um, and she has some great videos dealing with Pi and in particular that maybe instead we should be thinking about Tau. I mean, Pi has this great historical perspective and this was the original questions, you know, that the Greeks and others asked about what is the ratio to the circumference, you know, of the circumference to the diameter of some circle. Um, but in, maybe in all reality, they should have been asking about what is the ratio of the circumference to the radius. Maybe this is somehow a, a more natural question and they would have gotten a different answer and that being tau and actually tau shows up in a lot of great places. So you could spend, you know, an entire 20, 30, you know, hours talking about tau versus pi. And in fact, she, you know, she has talked about a lot of these sorts of things. And so I'll link to some of her videos down below in the description. I recommend that if you haven't taken a look at these before, that you do take a look at them because they are very, very interesting. All right. So that's my second shout out. And finally, uh, my third shout out is to Numberphile, right? And this is probably the most directly related to the video uh, here that I'm doing. Uh, they have... Uh, they just have so many wonderful videos across a broad spectrum of math topics. 
And in particular, I'm thinking about one where they talk about uh, the memorization of the digits of pi and, and <laughs> this actually came up in The Simpsons of all things. Actually, The Simpsons and Futurama and other that, I mean, they have some great writers that have high level uh, physics and math degrees and all this sort of stuff. Matt Groening and uh, David X. Cohen and all this sort of stuff. I mean, they have, I mean, some excellent episodes and they have, they embed a lot of funny mathematics uh, throughout them. Uh, but yeah, so they have a, a great video number file about talking about the digits of pi. And uh, that kind of segues very nicely into, you know, the main event, I suppose, for this video in which, you know, I'm going to recite some digits of pi for you. Uh, before I do this, I, I suppose I owe you a little bit of a lead up to why I know uh, a fairly significant amount uh, of digits of pi. And it really has to do with, you know, my time in grad school. Uh, I had, a, you know, a fellow student uh, and I, you know, we got in, we'd play some poker and stuff here and there. We got into some betting and whatnot. And, and at one point, um, we bet each other about, we, we gave each other, you know, two weeks. They would go out and try to memorize as many digits of pi as we possibly could. And then we'd go ahead and recite. And uh, there's a whole bit about accuracy and number of digits and all this sort of stuff. And, uh, but anyway, uh, maybe he had a, uh, more difficult couple of weeks than I did. Maybe he had some exams or homeworks or something like this that took up a lot of his time. But, you know, when it came time to actually recite the digits of pi, you know, I think he got um, between 40 and 50. I don't think it was quite 50, uh, but it's still 40 digits, very respectable and everything. Uh, but still when I, maybe I had more time or maybe I was just a, a worse student or something like this. Uh, I was able to hit, you know, over 150, um, which is, you know, fairly good, I, I, I guess, for two weeks uh, worth of practice here and there uh, and everything. And so that's why I, I happen to know so many digits of pi. And, and so I'll recite some of them for you here. Uh, I was thinking about this video, and so I, I've practiced a little bit. I was able to get up to uh, like 120, 130 or so. I'm still not, you know, kind of where I was uh, when I actually performed these here. I don't know, it's been like seven or eight years or so since we've, you know, since I've actually really thought about the digits of pi. Um, and so I'm not quite there yet, but with a little bit of refresher, I was able to get pretty darn good. And so in preparation for this, I, I, I also thought, you know, besides just uh, going back over my digits of pi, like how can I prove to you that when I actually, you know, speak the digits of pi, that it is really me and that I don't have, you know, obviously I'm recording this on a computer screen. Um, and, you know, I mean, you know, computers can look up the digits of pi or I could have pieces of paper scattered all around that have digits of pi. Or, you know, maybe I have some earbuds or something like this that have the digits of pi, you know, speaking to me. Um, and so basically anything that I came up with, I found, you know, that there's some way, you know, maybe I just like dub over the video or something like this with a, a different soundtrack where I get them all correct. At one point, I thought about blindfolding myself, for instance. And, and so I thought, okay, to some extent, you're just going to have to trust me in the fact that I'm not going to go through the effort of trying to trick you. Uh, whatever I was able to come up with, and, and I hope that it's at least 90% accurate or so, uh, but I'm not going to go and lie to you or anything like this or, or you know, manipulate the video files uh, or whatnot to show you that I somehow know more digits of pi than I actually do. Um, and so, yes, yeah, right. So to some extent you have to trust me, um, because I wasn't able to think of a way around you having to trust me to some extent. All right. So without further ado, I will go ahead and recite for you as many digits of pi as I possibly can. I would recommend that at very least you go ahead and you open up a separate browser or a separate tab or something like this. Uh, and you have the digits of pi, you know, somewhat in front of you. So that way you can tell that I'm not just rambling off, you know, you know, random numbers or anything like this, that they are at least, they fairly resemble the digits of pi, even if I get one or two wrong or something like this. So, all right, here we go. And I, let me apologize before I get into this. I, I memorize these things to a song. I don't really sing at all. Um, and so this won't sound particularly good. 
All right, here we go. and this is where I invite you to go ahead and join me in the song. Nine nine eight six two eight zero three four eight two five three four two one one seven zero six seven nine eight two one four eight zero eight six five one three two eight two three zero six six four seven zero nine three eight four four six zero nine five five zero two eight. I lost it. Anyway, I, I think I got over a hundred at least. Uh, maybe you can count out and tell me exactly how many I, I got or around that. So anyway, those are the digits of pi that I happen to remember at this instant. Uh, again, happy pi day to you and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys out there. <laughs>